no discussion of U Portal 4 would be complete, even a high level one, without mentioning, without you know, a little treatment of uh, the mobile experience in the portal because it is remarkably improved or remarkably different from what it was previously. And frankly, I would say that our uh, mobile experience in U Portal 3 was not bad. You know, we had a dedicated uh, mobile experience that we put some thought and effort into. But with U Portal 4, we have really broken new ground and done exciting things. So uh, this browser here, I've done a little trick uh, using the user agent switcher. I've told my Firefox to uh, hit the portal, the same portal running on my laptop, claiming that it's an iPhone. So on this browser, what you'll see is an example of how you might experience the portal accessing it using a mobile device. And quickly, there are a couple things I want to show you. One is logging in, because it's way more interested that, interesting that way. So now that I've authenticated, I have more content than before. And one of those things that I have is this courses portlet, which shows me my current courses and allows me to access some you know, highly relevant and important information uh, about these courses. You can see that I'm in the design awareness course, that I'm getting an A or I got an A. I can see when it meets and I can see where it meets and I can see any announcements related to this course. So that's one example. Uh, and then the other one I really want to highlight is this new dining portlet for the mobile. Uh, this is actually integrated with uh, Yale campus's uh, dining uh, services information. So when I click in here, I'm seeing a list of all the dining halls on campus. A and I have the opportunity to, to click into one of those and see, you know, what's for lunch. Uh, you know, I can see all the different, you know, areas in the dining hall and what they have. I'm really um, interested in this uh, arugula fennel uh, fontina salad here. So I want to click in there and see any, you know, sort of tags that it comes with. I can view nutrition information about that because I'm really concerned about putting on the Freshman 15 and all. I can view ingredients for this dish. Uh, but at any rate, you know, like I said, uh, we would be really remiss if we didn't take a quick look at the mobile offerings in U Portal or U Portal 4 because uh, they're really compelling and they're remarkably transformed from previous versions. Yes, for starters, there's a completely different theme transformation for the mobile view, and you're viewing the product of that in the Firefox browser. Uh, this is the result of a, of a separate, a different from the normal browser view, a theme transformation coupled with a dedicated mobile skin. So at the theme level and at the skin level, it's different for mobile. In addition to that, the mobile project brings to the portal native client apps for the iOS and Android platforms that integrate uh, with your portal. So you have uh, a chance to publish in, in the App Store or in the Android marketplace a, a native client, a completely native application for mobile devices that, that you can use to access campus information via the portal. Yes, the only thing that is entirely separate would be the native client. So you would publish the native client through the App Store or through the Android Marketplace. Of course, you would do that after you had made a bit of an investment in sort of skinning it and branding it for your organization. And it's separate in that way, yes. But even without the native client, users uh, and institutions can use many of the fruits of U-Mobile uh, just in their regular portal by accessing the portal through a browser on a mobile client. What we have right now is the ability in the portlet manager to send a signal that a certain portlet is not mobile ready, to exclude a portlet from the mobile view. There isn't anything special that you need to do uh, to use a, a mobile view of a portlet if it provides one. That just happens automatically. 